there is a quote, I think it's Alice in Wonderland, where I think it's the Queen, she says, my dear, here you have to run as fast as you can just to stay at the same place. And if you want to move, you have to run twice as fast. And I think it's it's a good symbolism of how most companies think about transformation, optimization. We tend to think about doing what we do today faster. So we want to do our processes faster. We want to do our automation faster. We want to make sure that everything we've done is faster, cheaper, and better. But do we actually take a step out and up and see, do, can we avoid these processes? Can we, instead of running faster along the same line, take a leap and completely start looking at changing the way that we work, not just doing it faster or automated, but do we need this process? Is there another process we can put in in place of the process we are looking at. It's easy for us to understand the processes that we are having today. It's easy for us to think about, okay, this process, how can I do that faster? It's less easy for us to turn everything upside down and look at, do we actually need it? And this, this is where I think the idea of, of defining the, the final outcome of any process is a good stay, place to start. You, you simply take a white piece of paper and say, what is it we want to achieve here? We want an insurance claim to be processed faster. Okay, that's one goal. But you could turn this around and say, we don't want any insurance claims at all, because then our customers, they won't have to worry about it. They won't have to worry about claiming, they won't have to worry about reimbursements or anything. And while it sounds a little crazy at the outset. Just think about it. What could that mean? It could mean that we would accept all claims. So the concept of claims goes away. And if, if this is your point of departure, then your problem definition, your way of looking at the project that we want to automate our claims or do them faster becomes completely different. And most likely it's not going to be that you will remove all claims. But if you start there and say, this, this, is our, this is our ambition, no claims whatsoever, everything is free for the customers. And, and down here we have, we want to do our claims faster. If you assign two teams, one to work on, on the lofty idea, the, the innovation, the somewhat unrealistic thought up here and work, work towards what's there today, and you assign another team to take existing processes, and now we're just working on the claims, right, and say, and work towards automation. These two teams at some point will meet each other, and where they will meet, you are having a realistic way of rethinking your processes. A way where you are leaping to the next level instead of just running faster, doing the same. So think about this. Try to go to the extreme and say, we don't even want any of these claims. And the other extreme is we just continue business as usual, but faster. Two different teams, let them work, define, think, ideate, whatever you want to call it, and then see how they can move towards each other. So the, the lofty team needs to move more towards a realistic model, and the, the traditional team needs to move more towards a a future model. These two teams, they have to define their point of departures, the lofty idea and the standard idea, and then they have to work together to meet each other. And that's where you have the magic. Good luck. Thanks for listening.